Hey, so what's going on guys? Back here with Driven Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So we got one more upgrade for the Beetle. As you know, the Beetle came with 16 inch rims. So I decided to go for slightly bigger rims. So as you can see right here, in these boxes, I just picked up the Rexer rims. So these are flow forming rims, 18 inch in size for the beetle so now we're going to be dropping it off at my tire shop and then we will bring over the beetle and we'll get this installed really really excited because i think it's going to give the beetle a nice look at least in terms of weight wise i do save about a kilo plus for each rim so i've actually checked out that the original 16 inch rim actually weighs around 10 kg per rim and the tire also around 9 to 10 kg but these rims right here each rim, even though they're 18 inch in size, only weighs around 8.5 kilos per rim because they are flow forming. So yeah, I actually did a quite a lot of research because I'm actually considering a couple of brands like Koenig as well. But I decided to go with Rexer because I think that it suits the design because this is similar to the BBS design. I wanted to go for something pretty classic with the Beetle because anyway, it's a 1.2. It's not going to go super fast. It's not like the Sirocco. I'm not using it for any aggressive driving so I decided to go for something that at least looks good so these are actually in the silver or should I say hyper black colorway basically they are silver uh, they are polished silver so it, I think it will look really good with the chrome trimming on the car because I'm not planning to do a chrome delete anyways all right so let me head over to my tire shop and then we will show you guys the install all right guys so we have just reached the tire shop so we're gonna let the professionals do their thing and I'll give you guys a montage. So I'll catch you guys after the install is done. So we are back They have actually installed it And I'm really really happy with the result You can see right here These are ET42 rims I supposed to go for ET35 But apparently after I did my calculations And some measurements I realised that The recommended ET35 for many of the shops Actually doesn't work out for the Beetle Unlike the Sirocco Let me give you guys a zoom there That is ET35 uh, of course 17 inches uh, same PCD but those are on uh, ET35 these are ET42 and you can see the difference the, on the Rocco side uh, you can see it's actually not really flush with the fender you can see it still can go a little bit more wider I should say maybe like 8.5J or 9J would look perfect but on uh, the Beetle uh, however you can see this 8.5J you can see it's actually flush with the fender, both the front and the rear. Let me give you guys a tour. Looks really, really good actually. It actually uh, gives the car a very nice stance. Of course, if you do lower it, definitely it will even look much better. Show you guys a side view right here. See, it looks really, really, really good. I'm really, really happy with the result. Of course, I did wrap it around with Rovello Sport A1. I'm trying out this tire because they are pretty pretty affordable. I think it was around 380, below 400 a piece. And uh consider this, even though they're from China, I consider the grip to be pretty good, uh, in my opinion. Uh, even though going through puddles because there was actually a rainstorm, I went through some puddles and didn't hydroplane at all, even at like 90 to 100. I would consider this tire is really good. Of course, they're still brand new. Uh, I'm actually using Potenza RE double fours on the Sirocco those are another level of course those cost even more than one piece of 18 inch tire so the ones cost about 400 ish ringgit for 17 inches so this costs slightly above 300 ringgit for 18 inches which is really a steal especially if you're not using the car for a very rough driving for toge and stuff for daily driving these tires are perfect uh, of course, it makes uh, using an 18-inch rim really, really affordable. So, 
give you guys a side profile look from the rear looks really really nice these are Rex uh, RTX 02 I believe these are 112 by 5 ET 42 so yeah fit perfectly of course you do need to use a center cone because this also can fit 112 and 114.5 so yeah I believe these are 113 I think it's somewhere in the middle so you do need to use a, a center cone to actually make sure the rim is aligned properly and of course yeah when we TPE nuts same with the Roku as well I've been using these nuts and uh, never feel alright guys so that's all for this video thanks guys for watching do like and subscribe for more content just like this one and I'll catch you guys in the next video